So I'm moving in with my mom. I'm just gonna take time to kind of figure out what my next move is gonna be. Mama. Hey. Hello. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna stay the night with you. What do you mean? I feel like I like just got out of like a high school relationship. Because we have been together so long, I feel like I've been stuck there and I feel like a new person since I'm out of that. I'm so glad to see you. Mm. So, so me and Trey broke up. But it was like, it was really good. It was good, we didn't. So nobody's mad? No, no one's mad. Oh my gosh. And we just decided like it's best if we're not together. Right. Yeah. I am happy because I have sat back and watched Abby not be happy. And I honestly don't think Trey's happy either. They've been together for a really long time and I just think that as the years have passed, that they have just grown apart. He handled it really well. Oh my gosh. The better y'all can get along and like yeah. co-parent, that is like gonna be the best thing for Cam. I think there's a lot of times she's been really sad and she hasn't been honest with me, but I've seen it just cause I'm her mom and I'm, you know, we just know those things. I mean, how did you like finally come to this decision? I'm way too like stressed out trying to make us work. Right. And I just can't make it work. I think that's a very um, good decision on um, your part and his part that y'all have made. We are not good for each other. There's no trust there. There's no communication there. He's gotten so involved with his mom. He doesn't pay any attention to me. So now we have to set my room up and set Cam's room up. I think that's a good idea. When Lorinda hears about the conversation, I don't know if she will be more hurt for him or relieved because I feel like Lorinda would not choose me to be married to him. Just because like they are so close and like it's kind of hard to picture myself in there. If it's not there, it's not there. Yeah. What do you hope for Trey's future? Um, I want him to find somebody who loves him, who's good to him, who is good to my child. But I do feel like his mom, she's enabling him from growing up. I don't think that that would ever change. Trey just depends on her. You know you're welcome. But I won't be here long. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. You know you always have a home here. Mm. Abby moved out, and it's just really weird without her even being here. We made it work for literally over a decade. And I think we did it for Cam. We did what was best for our son, and I want Abby to be happy. I want what's best for Abby. I really do. But my mom, she don't even know that we really, like, broke up like that. When I tell my mom about this, she's going to be shocked. But in the end, I think she's going to be OK with it, us going our separate ways. because. I can actually be myself now. Hey, hey. Hey, uh, Mom, what up? What you doing? What up? We're here making a cup of TikToks. Well, you know, normally when I have a, like a lot on my mind, I have to make some videos. So right now, I just want you to make a video with me because that's what makes me like 
really happy. Really? Yeah. Something really been eating my mind up. I don't know. Spit it out and tell something. I guess me and Abby, we finally sat down and had a talk. And we got some things off, you know, our chest. She made some points, I made some points. Uh, so, you know, that happened and... Did y'all break up? Yeah. Yeah. Finally. I wasn't surprised at all too much because I saw it coming. It's as clear as day. I'm just waiting for it to happen. She was lacking something, I reckon. And she wasn't getting enough attention. I don't know. And when you don't talk about these things, look what happened. Yeah. Well, I hope y'all got a lot of things out and, and, and ironed it out. Yeah. Put it on the table, especially because at the bottom line, Trey, it's about the child. Yeah. That's all I'm concerned about. I didn't see no kind of connection, Harley. You know, they talk, yeah, and go out occasionally, but they just didn't have that genuine, you know, connection with each other, doing things together, uh, you know, a bond with each other. Just wait, no. give it time. I just want you to, to stay rooted and grounded in what you know, what I have taught you. At the end of the day, y'all going to be in each other's lives for the rest of y'all like this child. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be all right. I, all yeah, I know you're going to be all right. I know you, it, it kind of hit you a little bit. You just keep going the way you're going. Keep your head up. Gotcha. I will. It's really a blessing to have somebody that helps me the way you do, you know, mm -hmm. with everything. I say, to be honest, um, me and Abby, we may be cordial to each other, and I'm just going to leave it right there. You're going to leave it right there? Yeah, I'll, I'll get to say hi and bye. Will you continue to shop at Jesse K's? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Anytime do you need to talk, don't hold it in. You just come and talk to me. All right. I'm gonna work on it. You hear me? I hear you, I'm hearing you. And you're gonna find somebody that loves you. Yeah. As much as I'm you my biggest fan. I'll tell you, I'll hear you, buddy. I love you, Papa. I love you too. I believe a girl that's out there is much, much good for my son, Trey. You gotta inspect her. Oh yeah. She you gotta realize I'm the whole package. And some more. And and some more. Yeah. Dude, you're a cool mom. You're a sweet thing. Oh, man, you the best. I love my mom. She's my best friend. I couldn't last a day without her. <laughs> man, you're, you're oh, so well. Mom, you, you still got it. I got it. Yeah. Oh.